What if the Earth had two moons? The tide is high, but I'm holding on, is the first line of a Blondie song from 1980. Which was actually a cover, but it considerably outsold the 1967 original. It could also be society's new theme music if the Earth suddenly found itself with two moons. But before we begin, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for such amazing and informative videos. The song perfectly represents what would likely be Earth's new reality rising and unpredictable tides. According to Neil Comins, a physics professor at the University of Maine and author of the book, What If the Earth Had Two Moons? Comins is one of only a few science types as opposed to science. Fiction types to have addressed this question, which means there's not a lot of science-based. Theorizing out there for what is, really, an interesting and potentially apocalyptic scenario. First, a little background. NASA scientists believe our current moon formed 4.5 billion years ago. When an enormous Mars-sized body banged into us. Debris from the impact hurtled into space. Began orbiting the Earth and eventually formed into the moon as we know it. This is not something most of us would want to see repeated, and the gravitational effects of a second moon, even after its dramatic formation, wouldn't be any better, though we likely wouldn't be around to experience them anyway. In his book, Comins goes a different route for the formation of Earth's second moon. One that wouldn't doom all of Earth's inhabitants to extinction. His second moon, Luna, would be captured by our first moon long after the Earth and our current moon have settled into a working relationship with each other, with Luna orbiting Earth on a path halfway between the Earth and the Moon. But as Luna settled into its orbit, we would experience hell on Earth. The gravitational pull of the new Moon would create tides up to eight times higher than our current tides. With enormous tidal waves larger than anything we've ever seen before. The tidal waves would result in earthquakes and greater volcanic activity, which would continue for years ultimately causing a mass extinction of marine life. Once things settled, life would be very different. Light at night would be much brighter with two full moons. And we would have fewer hours of real darkness. Cities built along the water think New York. San Francisco or even London would erode with the tides and buildings would be destroyed. While Comins's book is hypothetical, some researchers theorize that the Earth already has two, or sometimes more, moons. These scientists argue that we pick up small asteroids. That make several orbits around the Earth over a period of a few weeks or months before taking back off into space. They also believe that this happens over and over with no ill or positive effects, since these hitchhiker moons are so small. And given our spot in the universe, it's not a huge stretch to speculate about having two moons. After all, Saturn and Jupiter each have more than 50. And even our closest galactic neighbor, Mars, has two. So, all things considered, maybe Blondie's, The Tide is High, isn't the right theme song for the Earth having two moons. For his two-mooned Earth thought experiment, Comins proposes that our Earth-Moon system formed as it did, he needs the same early conditions that allowed life to form, before capturing a third body. This moon, which I will call Luna, sits halfway between the Earth and the Moon. Luna's arrival would wreak havoc on Earth. Its gravity would tug on the planet causing absolutely massive tsunamis, earthquakes, and increased volcanic activity. The ash and chemicals raining down would cause a mass extinction on Earth. But after a few weeks, things would start to settle. Luna would adjust to its new position between the Earth and the Moon. The pull from both bodies would cause land tides and volcanic activity on the new Moon. It would develop activity akin to Jupiter's volcanic moon Io. The constant volcanic activity would make Luna smooth and uniform, as well as a beautiful fixture in the night sky. The Earth would also adjust to its two moons, giving life a chance to arise. But life on a two-mooned Earth would be different. The combined light from the moon and Luna would make for much brighter nights. And their different orbital periods will mean the Earth would have fewer fully dark nights. This will lead to different kinds of nocturnal beings. Nighttime hunters would have an easier time seeing their prey. But the prey would develop better camouflage mechanisms. The need to survive could lead to more cunning and intelligent breeds of nocturnal animals. Humans would have to adapt to the challenges of this two-mooned Earth. The higher tides created by Luna would make shoreline living almost impossible. 
The difference between high and low tides would be measured in thousands of feet. Proximity to the water is a necessity for sewage draining and transport of goods, but with higher tides and stronger erosion. Humans would have to develop different ways of using the oceans for transfer and travel. The habitable area of Earth, then, would be much smaller. The measurement of time would also be different. Our months would be irrelevant. Instead, a system of full and partials months would be necessary to account for the movement of two moons. Eventually the moon and Luna would collide. Like the moon is now, both moons would be receding from Earth. Their eventual collision would send debris raining through Earth's atmosphere and lead to another mass extinction. The end result would be one moon orbiting the Earth, and another era of life would be primed to start. Did you learn something new about what would happen if Earth had two moons that you didn't know before? We hope you did. So, if you're interested in learning more amazing facts, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified by our new videos. Please like and share the video, don't forget to comment down your views on this. Thanks for watching till the end.